we hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal. It is the great parent of science and of virtue, and a nation will be great in both, always in proportion as it is free. Our liberty depends on the freedom of the press, and that cannot be limited without being lost. Nothing can now be believed which is seen in a newspaper. Truth itself becomes suspicious by being put into that polluted vehicle. Bigotry is the disease of ignorance, of morbid minds, enthusiasm of the free and buoyant. Education and free discussion are the antidotes of both. Yet the hour of emancipation is advancing. This enterprise is for the young, for those who can follow it up, and bear it through to its consummation. It shall have all my prayers, and these are the only weapons of an old man. I agree that the duty of every good citizen to use all the opportunities, which occur to him, for preserving documents relating to the history of our country, I had rather be shut up in a very modest cottage with my books, my family and a few old friends, dining on simple bacon, and letting the world roll on as it liked, than to occupy the most splendid post, which any human power can give. Our particular principles of religion are a subject of accountability to our God alone. I inquire after no man's and trouble none with mine, nor is it given to us in this life to know whether yours or mine, our friends or our foes, are exactly the right. There is no act however virtuous, for which ingenuity may not find some bad motive. When angry, count ten before you speak, if very angry, an hundred. I cannot live without books.